Right, how to change front brake cable. You've got a handlebar clip here. So that, I've undone that, that is a bolt through it, just hold the cable. Normally when you set them up, you put a bit of a bow in it, so your cable's arcing nicely into the lever, yeah? Yeah. So take that bolt out. You've got a screw clip here, which I've taken out. That clips the cable to there. So that runs in there. So you take him out. Okay, right, that's your grease nipple point for your shackle pin there. So you undo that. You've got a clip there. So that comes off. Right. On the actual brake, your cable, you thread that on first, he lives on there, that goes through that hole there, it's very hard to do when it's been cut down, but it's not going to go, I'll show you when we do the new one, yeah? Okay. But that goes in there, doubles back round there, then you force that nut onto there, and that holds the cable. Clevish pin in there, and this is your adjuster, which is at the moment is all wrong. Okay. That nut should be on that side, so I'll just grease that up. So we'll get that off now. And you've got your lock nut, which, like I say, should be on that side of it. Got loads of adjustment on them, which is a good thing. Right, and that you can if you're taking it all apart you can just pull your cable out now yeah but because the lock nuts on the wrong side we've got to take this thread unthread it all the way yeah and put the lock nut back on the right way right I'll put him back on there right now you cable this end you now got three on it so you can Pull that out of there. I don't quite know what they've done here. Right, they've assembled it all, so you have to pull the complete inner cable through the outer cable and then thread it through there because that piece is wrong. No wonder the brake didn't work, state of that. Right, so because that hasn't got a slot in it, You've got to push that and pull that all the way through and that will come out of there. Well, what it should be is one of those. So you've got a big hole that side, a big slot that side, yeah? Yeah. Small slot that side. So when all that's out of there, let's get that out. Right, because that hasn't got a slot in it, you could cut a slot in there yeah. and you feed your cable through, but what it is when your new cable goes in, yeah, goes in there, like that, and that small slot, you just push that over, like that, yeah, and put a split pin on it, yeah, so that stops you having to feed all the cable in and out of the outer and inner all the time, yeah. Right, this is what they call a universal, so you've got that piece on the end, you've got a greaser there, old style grease gun, you just put it on there and you pump some grease in there. That bit you don't need. So we'll take that out for a minute. And you see those windings on the cable. And you have that is machined in there. So it's a left hand thread. So undoing it is putting it on. What they should have. See that doesn't fit in there. That will fit on some models. WLC, XA. That will fit on your clutch side. Okay. Because this is a universal cable. Right, so we need to get, that's a ferrule, what they call a ferrule, yeah? So they wind on and off as well. So that end we'll leave alone. We can trim that down a bit, see what the length is like. So we've got to find a ferrule for that end. Don't think there's any here. I haven't got one, so we'll have to take one off of the other end. Right, so you want to make sure See that bit of the cable that's sticking out there? Yeah. If you don't get that butted in there properly, all it'll do is push that ferrule down over the cloth. You gotta make sure that, that that's good there, see? Yeah. So it's butted up hard. Got our cable in there. See, this is gonna be miles too long because it's universal. Right, so where's my bolt for that? It goes in there. 
again this is the wrong nut and bolt but it's not what these ones are about they just need them running right so right, don't go too tight with that at the moment right if you look at that cable yeah look at the angle of that flow it's wrong that cable's coming and doing that you don't want to get any points where it's going to catch on a sharp angle yeah so if you pull him up they're quite hard to do but a little bit too much right now we've got a nice flow there yeah okay that's what you're trying to achieve so your cable you think about it it's, it's wrapping around that corner it's just going to scrape it and buckle it and chafe it have eight hands <laughs> <laughs> normally they stay actually pinch him up nice and tight you'll never buckle that so okay she so got a nice flow there now look yeah bearing in mind that's normally these are further down there and bearing in mind that blackout lamp bent so okay. right again trying to keep a nice flow so your brake cable gets clipped on there okay they move in those so that's bottomed out but that's fine as long as it can't fly, fly around okay right now down here you've got your clip that goes on there and we want it to go that way I'll start pulling him round that fits on there like that okay so we've got a nice flow there where's he gone there he is You've got a nice flow yeah you don't want anything if you come there with it that'll be a little bit too tight so bring him back a little bit so you've got a nice angle on it right okay now we can put our adjuster back in Obviously you want to wind it pretty much all the way in, leave a little bit there for backing off if you need to. And that gives you your most adjustment, yeah? Okay. So obviously our outer cable's too long because you don't want that all the way back there. Yeah. We've got to take that off and get the ferrule off. Sometimes you have to do it with pliers where they've been crimped up a bit. Some people leave that length on it. I'm not sure what the original should be, we'll have a look. Because otherwise you have to cut the top. But you can't cut that much off the top because of where the grease point is. Yeah. So that wouldn't work. Okay. Well, if you're cutting these cables, you can spread that with a pair of snips and do it. Yeah. But normally you have to grind the end off anyway so I cut them with a disc cutter in, when you look at a picture of one I'll show you in a minute they sort of got a curve on them like that yeah I'm guessing it's for suspension travel because if you have that there if it bottomed out it's going to drag that cable I think I think that's why they do it so look yeah comes down at a sort of yeah so you want to get a nice loop in it like that really and you want to allow for your depth in there. It's about that. Okay, so that's in cut. Tidy it up a little bit. Right, now we need to put our depth of that. This is how far that's going to go in there. So we're about there. Then you want your depth of your ferrule. Which is about 
there. Let's just mark that. Then you put your ferrule back on. Right, making sure that's fine, that the ferrule isn't hitting that. Because all it'll do again, like I say, it'll just compress all that up and it won't work. Okay. Yeah. Now we can feed our inner cable through. We'll give her a bit of a oil up. All I do is squirt some oil in my hand and run it down the cable. You can't buy cable oilers. Just a just a layer. Yeah, just give it a little bit of oil. That's all it needs. Nice and free, yeah. Yeah. And you put him in there. Small slot that way. That fits in there. Oh, let's get a split pin in there. They should. These are repro, and you can't get. There should be a very small washer that goes on there, and it, no matter what you do. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. Unless you try and elongate that hole, these are too short, basically. Yeah. You cannot get a washer in there um, on the repro ones. It, it, it just doesn't happen. I've tried, like I say, lots and lots of times, and it, it just isn't going to happen. So. It's weird when you get an original. It's only like a 30 second of an inch in it, yeah. and it, is, it makes the difference. So put a split pin in there now, because when you're trying to adjust it all up, invariably that thing pops out. And then you have to start again. You want to bend him round and then cut the excess off. So now that can't pop out when you're trying to adjust it all up, yeah? Yep. So you know that goes that way. He goes on there like that. So you've got to take that off. That way on. Small hole, yeah? And your cable goes through there like that before you do anything up try and tighten anything make sure that that end is fed back through that hole it's a really crappy design but it works yeah right like the other thing which i always find easier you your pin they show it in all the books should be this way but when you, normally once you've adjusted your brake up you can't get the pin in because it's the back plate's in the way. See, you can't get that physically in there. Yeah. I'd leave it when it's out there. Put all that lot through. Right, that leaves you enough room there. Again, put your split pin in there now. They should have a very small washer on them. Doesn't really make any difference, but in the parts book there is a small washer. And split pin through. So now you can yank on your out inner cable. You don't want to go too mad tight with it, but then that'll let you get that started. Right, so we'll back him off on there. That's why you leave a little bit there on your adjuster, yeah? Yeah. Give it a good yank a few times, that little stretch out. That's actually 
loose. Now look, we know we've got enough adjustment on everything, so now we lock that up. So you've done your stretch on it, you always stretch them out first, yeah? Yeah. Always tighten that up with a spanner on the other side, because you'll end up bending your brake arm. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now we can adjust her up. You'd be amazed how much the cable stretch for a while. we try her out when it's rolling but that's good so you know you've got plenty of adjustment there left on everything so you want to do your lock nut up so until you test it rolling but that's ballpark that's about it as I said before when we're adjusting up you can't have them too tight because they just don't operate so you need to get that pull on them yeah Okay, right, the next thing is, in a lot of the old pictures of these, you see this wound in a coil there, so it leaves extra cable. Yeah. So we'll trim some off. Okay, and that leaves you enough just to put a couple of rounds on it. Okay. So you've got some extra cable there if it's needed. That's good. And uh, tightness of doing stuff up on there. I noticed it wasn't overly tight. On which, sorry? On some of the um, adjusters. No, you need to make sure that's tight, which is why I said hold that with a spanner. Yeah. And your adjustment is literally just pinching the lock nut back up. Um, your adjustment, you just don't do undo or do that up until you get what feel you're happy with on the, on the lever. Yeah. A lot of brake problems with these. I mean, the brakes are rubbish anyway. Mm. They really are. But a lot of it is just getting it all set up right. Yeah. 